Hello everyone, welcome back to the Human Reviews channel, and today we are listening to Violator by Depeche Mode. Yeah, we're continuing the Fantano 10 out of 10s rabbit hole, I guess, as I realize I've started to do that on this channel. Um, I have heard nothing but good things about this album. Fantano gave it a 10, Rad Taste of Music gave it like a 96. I've heard Enjoy the Silence, I think Enjoy the Silence is like one of the best songs ever that I have ever heard in my life. It's very, very, very good. So I have pretty high hopes going into this thing. Uh, it came out in 1990, it is nine songs, was it 46 minutes? Yeah, 46 minutes. Yeah. I am very excited to get into this one. Real quick before I begin, I just want to remind you all, we record these reactions live, so if you ever see that I am live, listening to an album, make sure you uh, stop in, say hi, your chats might even get included in the video. And with that being said, I'm just gonna get straight into it. Drag one, world in my eyes. First thing I want to note is that the electronics have aged pretty incredibly. Uh, yeah, the electronics sound perfect on this song. Like, actually, they have- th this came out, what, 34 years ago? It sounds, like, still amazing. It's insane. <laughs> Nah, I'm not crazy on the fade out. Yeah, that intro was about as uh, good as I hoped it would be. Um, this has aged wonderfully. My biggest fear going into this album was because it's a 90s like synth pop album. I was worried it wouldn't have aged the best. But now that I'm actually listening to it, I'm not concerned at all. This is this sounds incredible still. Um, the very dark, like gothic aesthetic matches perfectly with the synth pop sound i like legit it's like the, a match made in heaven it sounds incredible i think that the vocals have something just so odd and off about them that adds to that and not only that this song just sounds amazing this is like legit like the production is practically perfect the song is like a, a 9.6 to start the album off that is that is about as good of an opener as I can ask for. Next track, Sweetest Perfection. The sweetest perfection to call my own When I need a drug in me And it brings out the thug in me Stop me Ooh, string arrangement sounds great. Something about the vocal layer in that's just so off. It makes it sound surprisingly kind of creepy, which I wouldn't expect from like Depeche Mode. It's it. There's just something just so, like, dodgy about the way the vocals are layered and how I don't know. I don't even know how to put it. It just sounds off in the best way possible. It adds to the like the gothic aesthetic that it's going for. It works so well. Of the production here, yeah, the production's fantastic. Like, the panning in this part is amazing. This is literally goth music, yeah. And it's like the best goth music imaginable. Not gonna lie, that's a 10 right there. I legit don't know. It's like, this is like actual gothic music that isn't just doing it for the sake of a cheap gimmick or to be edgy. It's actually dark, it's actually a little creepy slightly off and disturbing and it, it but it isn't doing it for like a cheap aesthetic or gimmick is the most important thing here that song in particular with the pacing the way it's slowly so slowly built 
until the very end where all of like the instruments sort of toppled on top of each other completely well not completely drowning the vocals out but like slightly drowning them out the way the call and response with the backing vocals began it just all built up into like the most intense but also surprisingly subtle way to end the song off i don't even know how to describe that that was like weird creepy but also surprisingly catchy and probably very re-listenable i could see myself returning to that like an infinite amount of times that song is a 10 genuinely that was um exactly what i wanted from this album and arguably more it's apparently better live i would imagine this album sounds amazing live yeah with how like abrasive and intense certain moments are and how um how much it builds i, I would imagine that yeah it sounds pretty great live next track personal jesus Oh, I've heard this. Okay. Okay, I already know I like this song. Yeah, I imagine this song would sound amazing like That is an iconic riff right there. And then the reach out and touch faith as well. Truck Tober music. I mean, you're not wrong. That is smooth as hell. That was pretty incredible. Ooh, hold on. This has such great push and pull. It's building tensity so well. Okay. So it's good non-live as well. Yeah, this is pretty incredible. Addy says commercial R song four out of ten. Listen. I could see this song being in an ad in, in an advert, but in the best advert of all time. That is another 10. Um, yeah, that takes the conventional, like, truck advert sound, infuses it with synth pop, and does it in the most unique, fulfilling, satisfying way possible. It's simultaneously so weird and off-putting, and catchy as hell with like the reach out and touch faith thing that iconic riff the absolutely amazing sounding drums the, like you you don't just get drums that sound like that that like it, it, it should be illegal they sound so good oh my god i am floored by this i am actually floored i've heard that song before like obviously the reach out and touch faith thing is absolutely iconic i think i feel like everyone's at least had that part of the song but I forgot just how incredible it was. Yeah, that's that's that one's another ten. Next track, Halo. Whoa. Okay. Were those reversed synths? That was really cool. I can feel the discomforts in your That panning. Oh, with the string arrangements and the reverse synths. That's so cool. That was another pretty incredible song. Um, yeah, like a 9.8. It's not, it's not quite a 10, because I don't feel like it's quite as just mind-blowing as the previous two tracks. But it's about as close to a 10 as you can get. Um, yeah, the reverse synths, the string arrangements, the freaking drums, the, just the constant repetition at the end, just hammering this refrain into your head. It's like, there's something so hypnotic, and so, but also so eerie and like strange about this that i feel like i'm not able to get out of like any other music in this style this is like 
This is a this is a very special album. I I'm I'm legit. I'm not able to get like this intense uh, an off-putting feeling out of much other stuff. This is so cool. Look at that. We're already over halfway through the album. Uh, next track, Waiting for the Night. Can I get the cat to join? He's sleeping right now. Look at him. Oh, never mind. He's cleaning himself. Wow. I'm not gonna lie, that song is another 10. Um, wow. Um, yeah, that song was literally called Waiting for the Night, and it sounded like it was like in the middle of a dream. It There was something so spacey and floaty about it, like from all of these really like weird, like panning synths that were going on throughout the track to the like just absolutely massive cavernous space that they are using on that track there's just something that felt like it was in the middle of like a dream state and he's talking about like waiting for the night so that he can escape like the dark thoughts that he's having and he said something about like here, being here in, in the still which i guess is him like actually talking about dreaming and having dreams to escape reality that is about, like, the best sound palette for a song you can have where you're talking about, like, wanting to be in a dream state. Yeah, that one's another 10 for me. Next track, a song I've already heard, we have Enjoy the Silence. Very good song indeed. I already know my score for this song. Iconic chorus. Vows are spoken to be broken. Feelings untaken. All I ever wanted, all I ever needed is here in my arms. All the vocals. Fade out that actually makes sense as well. I think I feel like this fade out is very appropriate here into like this final little section. Enjoy the silence. Yeah, I've never gotten the point of this outro, but I'm not gonna complain, it sounds amazing. Pretty incredible transition. Um yeah, that is my favorite song on the album up to this point easily like even better than like even personal jesus is in my opinion uh, obviously it goes without saying that it's a 10 um even with that like that outro section that doesn't even feel necessary i still think that it it's it like even adds to the song it doesn't make much sense but it just adds to the like the weird dreamy feeling that has been all throughout this album up to this point there's just something so odd and, like, m mysterious about it, I guess. Which sounds stupid, but uh, genuinely, that's, like, the feeling I get from it. From the catchiness of that song, to how dreamlike it sounds, to the absolutely gorgeous chorus, that is about as good as not only this album, but I think, like, synth-pop as a whole can get. That song is a, is a, a 10 right there in possibly the top 100 songs of all time. Next track, Policy of Truth.
that was my least favorite song so far, but it still gets a 9 for me, like a flat 9. The only reason it's really my least favorite is because I feel like just out of every song so far, it's the one that's blown me away the least, and the one that I feel like is just kind of... Not necessarily the most standard, but the the one that feels the most, I guess, predictable. Still, the production is amazing, the writing is still fantastic, the atmospherics, the way the song builds, the really creative instrumentation is still fantastic. But I just feel like this one left the least of an impact so far. But still, it, it's still like a 9. It's still, like, incredible, and I would return to that song a decent amount. Next track, Blue Dress. Down to the final two. like the smoothest song so far. This one is just so easy on the ears. Fading out already, there's another minute and a half of the song. Ooh. The sudden switch ups on like this song and Enjoy the Silence have been incredible. Just these little outro pieces. They don't make much sense, but they add to the general aesthetic of the album really well. That transition, Jesus Christ. Yeah, that was like the smoothest song so far. That one was just so easy on the ears the entire way through. It was just so soft and gentle while still keeping in that very creepy, unnerving um, tone of the album that we've had up to this point. Yeah, that song, fantastic. Not quite a 10. It's like a, a 9.8. Like, like a 9.6, 9.7, probably a 9.7. But yeah, everything up to this point on the album has been incredible. This thing is literally all killer, no filler, not a single moment that has felt like it has been unnecessary or unwarranted that has broke the, uh, the immersion up to this point. This thing is literally a watertight nine tracks, and I'm hoping the final song closes it off strong. Next track, Clean. Exactly, the production is so magical and spacey, but it also has a dark undertone, yeah. There's something about it that's so dreamlike, but there's just hints of something really dark in there. Oh, bro. These drums. It's so well recorded. A really cool, like, 3 over 2 polyrhythm thing going on there. That was sick. What an incredible way to close this freaking album off, dude. Yeah, that was about as incredible of a closer as I could ask for. Um, I'm not listening to the the, uh, the bonus tracks here. I'm only listening to, like, the, the main songs on the album. That was an actual perfect closer. Legit. That perfectly blended all of the sounds and all of the, I guess, aesthetic settings that we've had on the album up to this point, and sort of is a satisfying close to all of them. It's actually perfect. It's actually the perfect closer. I legit have no complaints. Closing off the album on a 10, straight up. I could not ask for a more fulfilling, satisfying way to end an album like this. It's still so creepy, it's still so off, but it still has all of the magical, spacey production, the bright individual sounds, but they just come together to create something so dark and off, and I absolutely love it. And that was Violator by Depeche Mode. Real quick, I'm going to add up my scores, and then I will tell you what my overall score for the album is.
I am feeling a 9.8 out of 10 on this album. That's right. This thing is damn near perfect. Oh my god, this is so good. One of the best synth pop albums you are ever going to hear. The absolutely incredible gothic aesthetic that isn't that is more than just an aesthetic and just a gimmick it is actually like this style done to perfection blended with a lot of the bright synth poppy sounds and it's able to create something so creepy and so off-putting this is this albums like this are special because they're not not many albums are able to invoke such a weird like put off feeling in me but make me want to return to it as much as I want to re-listen to this album. Yeah, 9.8. This thing is absolutely amazing. And that is going to do it for this reaction to Violator. Let me know what you thought of this album down below in the comments. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Why? Make sure you like and subscribe. Our goal is 1,000 subs by September. There will be a link in the description to my Discord as well. You can head over there, talk to other people uh, in the community, talk to me on there. We talk about like music, movies, and games and stuff over there. So make sure you head over there if you are interested. Uh, check out the gaming channel. We're going to be probably posting more over there soon if you are interested in seeing some more gaming stuff. But uh, yeah, besides that, I will see you all whenever I next stream or upload. Goodbye.